Previously on the Traveling Together Journal, we finally get out of the city and enjoyed some outdoor adventures before winding our way from central Oaxaca to the state of Chiapas. We left this morning from the hotel on the side of the highway San Rafael and drove into the state of Chiapas and we are currently at Cascadas El Aquacero and we're going to descend, I guess, down to where there's some waterfalls and we're going to hike through a river. Jackie, you want to go for a hike? Yes! That's yes! Yes! super pretty. Oh, cameras never do nature justice. Dagger is all about that water. Like, oh yeah. Brown bear in his native environment. We're making our way back up from the river and it is a lot of steps. It's over 700 steps, I'm pretty sure. And it is still way easier than all that hiking we were trying to do north of Oaxaca, those high elevations. Uh, and it was totally worth it. That river was one of the coolest rivers I've ever been to. Absolutely stunning. Like waterfalls all over the place and just like dragonflies and birds and butterflies and the water was like the perfect temperature and it was all sand bottom not like all mud and stuff like most rivers so it was super fun just to like trek up the river very cool very worth the stop so far i think it's worth the climb back up <laughs> yeah definitely.
As usual, Jagger's leading the way. Blazing the trail. Super senior. <laughs> As one tired puppy, he had fun at that waterfall river. Hey, Jaggies. It's like, what? We left the really stunning, beautiful Cascadas uh, El Aguacero this morning after hanging out for a few hours there. We're on our way to El Chiflon. This is one of those places that I've been dreaming about since back in Maui. I've been following a lot of people on Instagram and this is like one of those things where you see photographs, like most overlanders end up at this place at some point and the photographs are just super cool. So I'm excited and looking forward to El Chiflon. Oh, the gas is backing up anyway. <sighs> Matt, how's your driving day going today? Not very good. I'm letting all the stuff get to me. So we had to go through a big city and I hate cities. I hate driving in cities. Uh, and then Chiapas just loves speed bumps and they're really into the kind that are like square like they're more like a parking curb than a speed bump so you have to like slow down to nothing to like crawl over them and then they don't like to just put in a speed bump where they want you to slow down they put in like six just in a row so, it's starting to get pretty annoying. And now our road is deteriorating and we got a bunch of potholes. Anywhere there's not a speed bump, there's a pothole. One more hour, Matt, one more hour. You can hold it together, can't ya? Yep, it's fine. Normally I like feel like I do a pretty good job of not letting all that kind of stuff bother me. But Maybe just because we've been driving more the last couple days and then like I'm trying to get us somewhere before it gets dark again. So it's just kind of like when you're actually trying to drive a little bit faster, it's more annoying. But we'll get there. cheaper of the two options for camping. There's uh, one where we're at and then there's uh, another campground on the other side. Um, and now we are looking for rocks because the parking lot is not even. It's not set up for truck campers. It's set up to like park here and then go and hike to where you can camp right on the river. So if we wanted to like camp in our tent, we could get a pretty sweet spot, but we don't have uh, camping mats. So we have a tent, but no camping mats. Anyways, uh, we're over here just trying to find some good rocks to put under the tires. I have a new routine I'm trying to make happen. Uh, it's Spanish and coffee. So I have coffee every single morning and I kind of just prefer to just chill and not really do too much. So I've been trying to study Spanish. And while I'm studying Spanish, Matt is fixing up 
some projects that we've got. We've got that light, which is right there. And he's wiring it up. So this is our fuse block for our camper. And I luckily have one remaining spot for another line. So just wiring up our lights so that it'll have a fuse on it so we don't burn out our system. And I put in a switch so that we can turn them on and off from inside. And so we just hit the little switch. Woo! And the light out there is on. It's like a little mini tarantula. Uh oh. Now it lives inside of our awning. What are you working on, Matt? Um, I'm making us some uh, cables to lock up our stuff because we like to keep all this stuff outside since that's where our living space is um, but I always feel nervous about leaving it outside so this way we can lock it to the truck. The other thing we did is lock our solar panels to the frame of the truck. Getting a pretty late start to going and looking at El Chiflon. Uh, we had a lot of projects that had been building up and we didn't even get our laundry done. <laughs> this is one of the first uh, theme parks, natural theme parks, that Jagger's been allowed in. Most of them say, no dog! <laughs> Mexico has had a surprising number of these well-established like natural attraction kind of places with these like concrete walking paths and stuff like that. Um, which is always a little bit of a downer for me because we always come to these kind of things to like see the nature and the beauty. But um, there's always undoubtedly going to be like a bunch of uh, pipes and stuff running along the side of the river. Um, but it's still probably overall a positive since it makes it so more people are able to come here and the local ajito can make some money and can serve a natural area. So, and we still get to come see it and uh, waterfalls are still pretty cool. GPS is 
are not uh, working. We haven't had any service for a while, so we are getting a nice early start and we will end up somewhere. Sounds like a plan. Next time on the Traveling Together Journal, we stick to the lakes and the rivers of southern Mexico. Christopher Hart, thank you so much for joining our expedition support team on Patreon. This bag is about to be filled with trash in honor of you. support the creation of this content. Christopher Hart also creates really awesome content of his own. He has a podcast called Exoplanetary and it is like old school radio where there are different actors who play the different parts of a sci-fi family and their adventures. I highly recommend you checking it out. It's a really fun podcast and I've included some links in the description box down below.